الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله سبحانه وتعالى سيد إن الجلوس بك كل بفضل الله وبرحمته فبذلك فليفرحوا and say on the mercy and the grace of Allah subhanahu wa taala so let them rejoice alhamdulillah Allah subhanahu wa taala blessed us with the month of Ramadan the month of forgiveness and month of mercy so for that reason by the end of the month we Muslim rejoice rejoice with Eid we rejoice because Allah subhanahu wa taala gave us the tawfiq and ability to pray Tarawih in it. We rejoice because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the tawfiq to recite Quran. We, we rejoice because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the tawfiq to do zikr. We rejoice because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the tawfiq to connect with him and connect with his book and connect with our deen once again. So the, the day of Eid is a very special day for Muslims because this day is the day of getting together meeting each other, we have family get-togethers, friends meet each other and this is the day to rejoice, you know, we go to each other's houses, we invite each other uh, one, of the, one of the main aspects of the day of Eid is the Eid prayer we all look forward to it, we wear our new clothes, we do ghusl at home you know, and then we go to the masjid and we pray and we greet, we embrace each other and this is for me pers personally and I know a lot of us, this is the main aspect of the Eid, we look forward to it but unfortunately this year we Muslims in UK would not be able to do that because of this global COVID-19 pandemic so I have been asked certain questions with regards to the Eid prayer what is the hukum of Eid prayer in these circumstances if one does not do Eid prayer is it sinful what is the substitute of Eid prayer? Can we pray Eid at home or can we do something else? So in this short message, I will just try to explain uh, these, these, these uh, answers. First of all, Eid prayer is wajib and it has the same conditions as Juma prayer. I wouldn't go into detail in each and every condition of Juma prayer in this short message. But just to give you an idea, the Eid prayer is only wajib on male. And only those who are, have reached the age of adulthood. It does not wajib on uh, someone who is traveling or not wajib someone who is ill. So these are the conditions that are related to a person. And then there are some other general conditions. For example, al-idhn uh, al a general permission, which is quite relevant to our situation. Because do we have a general permission to establish a congregational Eid prayer? we do not hence the Eid prayer is not wajib and anyone who is not able to pray the Eid prayer in UK would not be sin so what is the substitute can we do the substitute the book of fiqh and also there's a hadith in uh, Tabarani that mentioned the Prophet said that, that whoever is not able to pray Eid prayer then he can actually do the uh, four rakah of nafal, we call it salatul duha. The way he reads it is that in the first rakah, he says, recite the surah after Fatiha, Sabbihismi Rabbikal A'la, Surah Al A'la. Then he recites in the second rakah, Washamsi wa duhaha. And the third rakah, he recites, Wallayli idha yaksha. And the fourth rakah, he recites, Surah Al Duha, Wa Duha, Wallayli idha saja. And it is hoped from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah will give a great a, a deed and ajr. So nafal prayer uh, is dislike to call everyone for a jama'ah for nafal prayer. But if they are brothers uh, sitting and they want to do nafal prayer as a congregation impromptu, then they could do so. So what, what happens if someone wants to pray Eid at home? What is the ruling on that? So generally if someone and they were brothers or family uh, get together and they did the Eid prayer at home uh, then it is not haram and uh, there is no kafara for it so the person who does that or the family who does that would not be sinful and it is hope from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah bless them and Allah give them a good ajr according to their intentions Amin bijahin nabil Amin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam